Not enough. SCV ready. Hey, this is another TVP. The game I just played, I, I lost a TVT where I had a pretty significant edge. In fact, I was close to winning at one point, but I just ne enough. didn't keep up on my macro. I made too many SCVs on not enough bases. I needed more bases, more. I needed a starport, I needed more racks, that kind of stuff. And uh, I have this problem that when I'm watching an offensive push, I can't make buildings. I can macro back home, I can make more SCVs, I can, you know, make supply depots. But I cannot make command centers and uh, transfer workers and make additional production infrastructure. That sucks, I gotta get used to that, you know. There are ways to be better at it. I think the main problem is... Uh, additional supply depots required. ...that I haven't gotten used to going to my minerals to make something and then going back. Instead I, uh... Instead I use idle worker to make my next thing, and it, I, I think it works great in situations where it's nice and calm and relaxed, but when things get heavy, I just can't do it really. So I've never really tried this racks before gas variant, but I'm going to try it. Because last time I was like, gas first, but then you have to cut gas in a little, little bit to get your orbital on time, and I was like, well, why not just delay the gas altogether? <coughs> What's going on? Ah, you scared me. Big job, huh? Of course, it delays my tech lab. Hmm. There's a tech lab that I always dreamed about. Now I need the third racks. I don't know, I can't afford my Marauder, I'm going to end up with practically nothing when this shit comes. I don't like this. Too much gas, not enough. It's not too much gas, though I don't have stim yet. I need a supply depot. Go, go, go! By the crew wants Not enough minerals. SCV ready. It's go time. So the bench is you need a Marauder and four Marines by five minutes, and I have that, so I guess it's not as bad as it feels. It feels quite bad, though. In the rear with the air. SCV ready. And the next benchmark is 12 Marines by six and a half minutes. SCV ready. Ah. I really like to see if he has an expo yet. Or if he's tacking super fast or something. But in order to find that out, I would need a Reaper. And a Reaper would re reduce your army size, and then I'd want a bunker, and then be weird. So, one thing I like to do sometimes is push right now. Especially because I went for Concussor Shells first instead of Sim first. Sort of makes sense, right? Problem is, if you're pushing and he spawns some shit behind the lines and comes and hits your base, then you end up fighting with workers, and that's no fun. Gas. When you have an infrastructure that spends exactly all your money, it's it takes a lot of attention to make sure you don't delay stuff because Oh good. So he's one basing. Is it worth a scan to see if he's DTing? Three racks. Been waiting on He's pushing out with them. It seems weird for him to only have three racks. Maybe he has a, another hidden one. I can't really tell if what he did means that there's a possibility of DTs or not. 
I do feel quite prepared and strong against whatever he can throw at me as soon as Stim finishes. Be looking for that um, observer because that'll make me sleep easy knowing the DTs aren't coming. I saw sentries and stuff. That's a lot of gas for someone who would go DTs, so it seems likely that there's nothing dangerous coming. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. So combat shields and starport and reactor core. Should allow me to spend all my gas. Once I've spent my gas, then I can push! Because you never want to push without spending your gas. Like, what would the point be? You'd have all this money just in the bank, not killing anyone. I kind of think... I was tempted there for a second to make reactor cores on my racks, but then that would use gas that I want to be medevacs. Ooh, forgot to make the medevacs. I shall use these medevacs to crush your face, little man. Alright, third medevac is all I got the gas for, and then... As I push, my reinforcing army will be kind of small because I'm making these reactor cores. But I can spend that money on this uh, command center, right? That was really bad for him. Oh, he just left. That was really, really bad for him. So, <laughs> start building a command center and the game's over. That's funny. Uh, yeah, just standard TVP, man. Keep 500 bucks a minute of infantry coming all along and then add another 250 a minute of high-tech crap later on. And just my army size slowly climbed at a normal rate and his stopped right here because he probably switched to a different tech or expoed and that just made it so that when we engaged his army was much smaller because, yep, he went for an expo. That's the mistake a lot of people make, is when you want to have a strong early army and then transition into a strong army while having an expo, you got to make sure that you can take your expo without ever missing a cycle on, on your production facilities. I know that game wasn't really awesome. It was just kind of like me macroing and then my opponent leaving, so it's not great, but I just wanted to quickly fast forward through and figure out why he cut cut uh, military budget. It's usually either to tech or expo, and sometimes when people tech and expo at the same time, it just leads to this huge vulnerability. I bet he teched and expoed right at 8 minutes. I'm also curious whether when he 3 based like this, uh, there was extra money for him to be 3 gated like this, not 3 based. There's extra money to be spent on something like DTs or whatever. Nope, just a weird 3 gate. He's like, hi, I have 3 gates and nothing else. I don't understand. He's got all this gas and he's just kind of not going to use it. It's really weird. He's only got 34 workers, 36 workers. Protoss should be at, you know, 5 or 6 workers ahead of Terran because of a uh, Chrono Boost. It seems like he's been using Chrono Boost in order to have a big army with only 3 gates. He's like, I'll save 150 minerals and, and you know... I don't think it's worth saving 150 minerals if, the in exchange, you waste all the chrono boosts that you're supposed to use to get ahead in workers. I think of each chrono boost as like a, an eighth of a mule, you know? Like, chrono boost <laughs> can be spent on economy, so if you don't, you're trading mules for scans. You're trading money for whatever it is you're, you're getting with that chrono boost. Anyway. And sometimes those trades are worth it, like a really quick Colossus or quick upgrades or something, but not often. Not often. Yep. 
So we threw down three additional buildings and a tech, like really fast tech to Colossus at the same time as he took a Nexus and two gas. Classic, classic Expo plus tech at the same time equals dead. Very common mistake. Sorry, ingenious.